Oh. <laughs> what is that? Oh my goodness. This is puppy one and big dog two. Yay. So I thought it would be fun to pretend like I'm a dog owner for today. These dogs belong to my neighbor. Hello, Joshua. We've been talking in the elevators and I always see his dogs. So today I was just sitting over here working and I said, hey, I'll watch your dogs for the day if you want. I didn't think he would actually say yes, but he said yes. So now these are my dogs for the day. This one loves butt scratches. And this one, she just wants to be a part of everything. Give me a big girl. Oh, you're so sweet. Hello, sweetheart. Oh my goodness, don't eat that. Look how cute they are. Stay, sit, stay. Just chill, chill. Do you know that command, chill? They don't really bark. I haven't heard a single bark. It's super fun hanging out with dogs for the day. They are so surprisingly chill. I'm just gonna sit here and work. They are bringing me so much love, happiness, and affection right now. Oh, you're so pretty. They like to bite scratches. Dogs require a lot of attention. One is fine. Like this guy, he can sit here and chill for a long time with me. It's the little puppy that I'm worried about because small animals, small beings like babies, they find ways to hurt themselves. Where did it go? Where did it go? Like, what do I do with you? Do you go get a job? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you're so close. You farted again. Why do you keep farting everywhere? I am going to watch Dynasty, okay? I'm gonna watch Dynasty. I'm going to watch my favorite actress, Liz Gillies, is it Gillies? I'm gonna watch her. I'm gonna eat. Don't try. <laughs> this one's giving me a dirty look. Don't try to eat my food, okay? You wanna come over here? Good boy, good boy. I have to eat my soup. No, no, no. Do I love dogs? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, dogs are a man's best friend. They are my best friend. Woof, woof. I love dogs. Hey, Fido, love you. Not for me though. I think I might, oh God, I don't wanna say it. I might be a cat person. I might be a cat person. You know, I always knew it was true. I didn't want to believe it because whenever I tell anybody, oh, I've been thinking about adopting a cat, they're like, don't be that person. But they don't know what it's like to be that person. It's easy to judge from the outside. You know, I said I'm thinking about getting a plant. I got one plant and now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I have 15 plants. I said I would stop at two. Oh no, I'm gonna be a crazy cat lady with 15 cats. Oh, uh, whatever, I want a cat. I loved hanging out with those dogs, don't know their names to be honest, never got the chance to even ask because it was just so sudden and random. I see this neighbor around, he literally just said, I can watch your dogs for the day if you want since it's Thanksgiving. And he's like, oh, cool, here you go. Left for a few hours and came back, never spoke to me again. So I had fun, I loved the big bulldog, he was very cute. 
he just wanted scratches. He just wanted little scratches. He just likes to nap and be scratched. That's like me. But the thing is, we can't have two needy people in a relationship. There's got to be ebb and flow, just like in any romantic relationship. You can't have one person who's super needy and clingy and then someone else who's needy and clingy. I like to lay down and be scratched. Yes, I should be the potato because I want stimulation in my life but only when I want it. So I think a cat is good. Here's the thing that I'm noticing about cats. I've been hanging out with some of them, not like texting them and going to the ball. I mean, like I have acquaintances who have cats and you know, they're very different cat to cat, obviously, but they seem more selective with their energy and time. And I've been telling people, this is what you gotta do in the real world. You can't just be telling people all your business, letting them have all of your energy, protect your energy. It's such you know, an overused statement, but it's true, it's really true. Cats look at you and they decide, are you worth my time? Are you worth my headbutt? You know, they do that. I think that means they like me because a lot of them headbutt me. With that being said, uh, I have fostered various animals over the course of quarantine and they've always been dogs, but I had two skittish little street cats when I was in Florida because they're littered all over Miami. They never came from under the couch. They just stood there like, I'm like, I need to feed you. They like, put their little paw out, got the food, went back under the couch. That's not the vibe that I want. I do want a cat that will be fun, affectionate, will give me you know, some stimulation and happiness, but will go away because bless those dogs, they're so sweet. This is not to like crap on dogs. It just needed to be next to me the entire time. And when I went up and used the restroom, they both turned around like, like, where are you going? Are you abandoning us? And they just sat at the door and then I walked back to the bed. They came into the bed and I really just, you know, having a giant massive dog and a little one come onto your bed, it's like a whole person and it's a queen. It's just, it's not gonna work. Uh, I would like a cat to use all the vertical space. I have a lot of vertical space in this apartment. This is a studio, by the way, check out my new rug. Do you like it? I like it a lot. I'm very proud that my interior design skills have finally come full circle because, you know, you saw my apartment tour video in Florida. It was giving Cedar sinai It was very all white. Anyway, I want a cat to use this lovely vertical space that I have because my studio is small. I think it's like 550 square feet. So it's definitely meant for one large being, but a little cat, even a chunky cat. I love chunky boys. I think like a nice chunky senior cat can just have fun. If I get one of those towers, I can put one right here. Honestly, I can put one. Come on, you're coming with me down the hallway. There's an opening there. I can put it there. There are so many spaces where I can just put a tower even there maybe. That's my new plant. It's fake, sorry. Anyway, that is the conclusion of this very random video. This was not intentional, but I love when I have an animal moment, so I had to whip out my camera, but stay tuned. I think I'm gonna get a cat, y'all. I think I'm gonna get a kitty cat, Meow. Goodbye.